At the moment, do you feel that you are in a battle against someone or something? Are you facing an enemy army? Has someone declared war against you? Well, if so, this may be the Lord's message for you today. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged. These were the words that the Lord declared to the people of Judah when faced with war against Moab, Ammon and Edom in the time of King Jehoshaphat, recording in 2 Chronicles in the Old Testament. And we all face battles and enemy offences at some point in our lives. And we are ultimately always facing the enemy, that is Satan. But God's word can guide us and encourage us in the battles we are in. First, we can do what Jehoshaphat did. When word came to him that war had been declared against him, he ordered all the people of Judah to fast and to seek guidance from the Lord. And he prayed with all the people before the temple for them to be saved and for God to rescue them. So the first thing we can do when facing a battle is fast and pray. Secondly, it's about listening out for God's reply. God replied, do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. This is a command the Lord is telling us not to fear or worry because the battle is not ours. He is the one. God is the one who will fight for us. It belongs to him. We don't have to take the burden of it on our own shoulders. It is not our weight to bear. So number two, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Thirdly, this is about taking up our position. When you see the enemy approaching, it says in 2 Chronicles, you will not even need to fight. Take up your positions, then stand still and watch the Lord's victory. He is with you. Although the battle is the Lord's and he will fight for us, we are still to turn up. We are to boldly take our positions, to take the offensive. We are not to be afraid, but face the enemy with courage. But by standing still and watching in stillness and watchfulness. So we take up our position, we stand still and we watch. And lastly, we read, sing and give praise. At the very moment, at the start of the battle, the people of Judah began to sing and praise the Lord. And then the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir to start fighting amongst themselves. So when faced with the enemy, we are to praise God in prayer and song and then your enemy will fall apart. So the fourth thing is to sing and praise when faced with a battle. To fast and pray, to not be afraid or discouraged, to take our positions, to stand still and watch and sing and praise. And the Lord will have the victory for you in his mighty and powerful hands. And to remember the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Amen.